Sunday, December the 12th, I believe. Is it the 12th? 11th or 12th. I can't remember the exact date, but it is Sunday. Um, so yesterday I did not actually vlog. Um, honestly, there wasn't a whole lot that I did yesterday. And let me backtrack because last time I saw you guys, we were leaving the restaurant and we we're going to go to the house. So I ended up choosing not to vlog the home experience just because um, it was more of just, I wanted everyone to feel very um, comfortable. And I'm glad that I actually did that because we ended up spending the, the entire evening, you know, just like, you know, having a girls bonding night. We were focusing on um, creating our vision boards and what we're trying to manifest in 2022. So I wanted to keep that more personal and intimate. Um, but it was such an amazing night. I'm so glad that I actually got to hang out with some amazing women. I mean, my friend Diana has some great friends. So yesterday, I basically um, took the day just to relax. Honestly, like I pretty much I pretty much did not end up doing anything active until probably midday yesterday. I'm not even gonna lie. So I pretty much stayed home and just caught up on shows like YouTube and all that other stuff. And had a great chat with my niece and stuff. And then I spent the rest of the day, honestly, doing some holiday shopping for me. Um, so I, I do this every year for Christmas. I always buy myself gifts just because it's me, you know, celebrating all of the things that I've actually done for the year. And I think in all honesty, we should do that. We should celebrate ourselves and the things that we actually have been doing and, you know, just end the year with a bag. So plus not only that, how can you not do that and miss out on good Good, good deals. You know what I mean? I'm not about to miss a good deal, especially if it's a designer one. Which brings me to my next point because I am so, so, so excited. I actually just picked up my packages last night. So I have some really great stuff that I actually um, ordered in time for Christmas. There's more stuff coming, but I wanna show you guys some things that I did get because one of these items I actually put on my wish list to manifest this year and it's here. <laughs> All right, so let me go grab them real quick. Okay, so I have quite a few items here. So the first thing I'm gonna start off, I believe I got these earrings. I took the box, I actually, they came in a box. Jacques Moose always actually gives you a box for the earrings, but I didn't wanna keep it just cause it takes up space. But I got these earrings, I believe, I wanna say on Farfetch. They're actually everywhere, but they come in this individually wrapped packaging. Um, so let me, I honestly haven't done anything except take them out the box and put them in my jewelry case. But they are these really cute um, purse earrings. So let me just bring them up close so you can see them. Aren't these adorable? So I saw these online and I honestly thought that they were bigger than what they are. So um, up against me, they come about like, right here which is cute but i love really amazing statement jewelry so i don't know why i thought these were going to be a lot larger than they are but i still like them i actually think that they're really really cute but the quality of the jewelry it is a hundred percent gold um they are and i mean gold plated like they're not like 14 karat gold or anything they're gold plated they're light they're very easy to actually wear um, honestly, Jacques, Jacques Moose always makes like really great jewelry. I do have another pair of their, uh, larger size gold chain hoops and they're fantastic. So, um, the next item, I don't know. I feel like I don't even know where to go because there's so many really great things. Okay. We're going to go with this next one just because it had been on my wish list for like forever. And I kept going back and forth and back and forth whether or not I was going to actually get it. And then I finally just said, you know what? I'm just going to do it. So um, I ended up actually coming across this great bag by Brandon Blackwood. So this is literally how it came in the box. So um, I, love the, I love when a designer actually packages up um, your luxury products and puts them in a nice box because it helps in terms of keeping the quality and the structure of the bag itself. But when you open it, it actually um, comes in like a nice dust bag. So this bag, I actually have already worn. I wore this when I went to Diana's birthday on Friday, but um, I'm just gonna 
show it to you guys again. But it is this. Isn't this so cute? So it's this denim bag. It's a crossbody. You can actually adjust the strap. Um, it does feel like real denim. I love the inside of the bag. It you know you can pretty much fit everything in here. Like I fit my wallet. I can fit my phone. Um, and I love it because for me, like I can easily take the straps off and just carry it by itself, which is exactly what I did. But the other thing that I also like to do is I also like to just leave the strap on and then just still carry it like this, right? Um, and then if there's ever a day where I want to actually just be really quick and move very easily, I can adjust the straps and then wear it as a crossbody. So that is that item. Um, but this bag itself, I actually got from, where did I get this bag from? It wasn't a far fetch. Oh, I got this at Saks Fifth Avenue. I got this at Saks Fifth Avenue and this one was regular price. It was not on sale. There was another bag that I was looking at that was on sale, but then it actually sold out. So it really sucks for that situation. But all right. So the next item that I, okay, we're just going to go right into this next one because I have wanted this for so long and I was really worried that I would not be able to find them by the time I was ready to purchase. So I finally pulled the plug and bought, these are actually my second pair of Balenciagas, but these are my first pair of never worn before Balenciagas. So the very first pair I actually ever bought, I believe I actually shared this with you guys on the channel, but I did actually buy a pair of knife mules um from the real world i actually got those they were they were previously worn like you know very lightly and they're i still haven't even worn them but these ones these shoes have been on my wish list like forever i found these shoes um available they were not on sale unfortunately but they were they were still available i found these ones actually through uh farfetch farfetch has everything you guys like if you if you are looking for any type of designer bag, shoes, clothing, go to Farfetch. And then also keep searching because you will find it. Like if they don't have it in stock and available then, somehow they bring stuff back. But look at these shoes. Ah! Are they not the cutest shoes ever? So these are the knife, the Balenciaga knife pumps. And they are so amazing. They, they originally came in multiple different colors. They have them in black. They still haven't been black available. The white is very hard to find. I'm gonna be very honest with you with that. So if I am able to find them for you guys, I will link them down below. These shoes I believe actually retail for about $6.70, no, $6.95. And they have them also in a, a beige color, a pink color, and then they also had like this lime green color. And all of those were, were really popular 2019 and 2020, right? So this one is actually the larger size. I believe this is the 110 size. I have to go look at actually, oh, I'm right. Look at the box. It's 110 size, but um, these shoes are the highest heel. The other ones that they actually have are 80. So it comes about like right here, which I didn't want because um, I just felt like, I don't know. I kind of just felt like it'd be kind of like an old lady shoe and I'm not, I'm not there. So I didn't really want that. They are comfortable, I did try them on. I have not worn them out in public just yet because I have a whole look that I want to put with this. Plus, there is a bag that I actually really want to go with it. So I'm waiting until I get the bag and then I'm gonna wear it all as a look. So we've got that. The other thing, let me just adjust you guys because you're kind of a little high. What I also just realized with the Balenciaga shoes is that they didn't come with a dust bag. Not that I remember. I don't think they did. Hold on, let me just see. I feel like, I thought that they did because at normally, oh, they did. Okay, never mind. What am I, I don't know what's happening. I, for some reason, I thought that they didn't come with a dust bag, which I thought was like really strange because I'm like, every luxury shoe always comes with dust bags for your shoes. Whatever, we're, we're moving on, we're moving on. Okay, so I'm gonna save the best, best, best for last. But this next one, I love sneakers. So I was actually very surprised that I didn't even know this collaboration actually even existed, but Fila actually did a collaboration with MGSM. Um, and I honestly love Fila's. I think that they're very comfortable. I mean, they're very old school. I wore them when I was in high school. So they're back again. 
you know, with a vengeance. But I love the fact that they paired themselves with a designer brand uh, because it just brings both, you know, the high and the low together. But I found these really great sneakers for like literally everyday use. These are so cute. But there's... They're such um, an easy, casual shoe that I can actually wear with so many different outfits, just, you know, for active wear. Um, but these are the, the Fila and the MGSM collection. Okay, so this next item, I actually have been a fan of Off-White for a very long time. Um, it just so happened, and I mean, like, there was a, there was a bag that I saw from Off-White in 2018. Was it 2018? Yes. No, no, no. It was 2019. It was 2019. I saw this bag and it was one of their uh, Jitney cash out bags. And I wanted that bag so badly, but I didn't have it in my budget to actually get it. So I was like, you know what? One of these days I'm going to get a, um, a off-white bag. Right. And so it just so happened that the bag, the Jitney bag that I really wanted, the cash out one, unfortunately, that one was no longer available. It's hard to find that bag even now. But Off-White always has really great bags. So two weeks ago, I was in Nordstrom's and I saw that they had the 2.8 Jitney bags. And I was like, you know what? I really want to get it. But at that point, I was like, uh, I, they had it retailed in the, in the store for about, I think it was about over $2,000. And I was like, I don't want to pay that right now. Let me see if I can find this somewhere else for cheaper. I am so glad I did that. So glad I did that. And the reason why is because Farfetch is currently having their 30% off sale right now. So I actually saved, I saved even more because the bag was discounted from 2000 and then got the 30% off on top of it. So let me just show you what it looks like. This is the box. I love the box. The box is so cute. Like when I, when I move and have like a larger place, like I'm going to have some of these boxes actually in my closet just for decoration um, with some of the bags in them, of course, and then some on display. But I also love the paper print. Like this is so cute. I love this floral print, it's amazing. And I'm honestly really glad that this bag came in in time, especially considering the fact that, um, you know, of Virgil Abloh's death. And I'm kind of curious as to what's gonna happen with Off-White considering the fact that Off-White is his brand. I mean, he it is a Black-owned business, and I'm wondering if they're going to have somebody actually take over in his place. He also was the creative director for Louis Vuitton, so they are obviously going to be looking to find someone to replace him. Um, unfortunately, of course, you know, based off of his own creative uh, talents and his gifts, there will, no, there will never be someone who will ever be able to replace the work that he actually did. And it was so iconic. I mean, it was just so memorable. But the one thing I love about Off-White is that the structure and the designs of the bags, they're all like pieces of art. So I'm so happy that I actually have my own piece of Virgil in my house. And even more importantly, I'm extremely excited that this is also now another black owned luxury piece that I have in my house because you have to support black owned businesses. But this right here, y'all, this bag is, this bag is everything. I love, love, love this bag. So this is the um, Off-White Jitney 2.8 bag in all black. This also, I literally have not, I haven't even opened the bag. I haven't done anything. Like look, the tag is still on it that says Farfetch on it. Like. <laughs> I literally just took it out of the shipping box and like left it. So that was it. Um, so this is the like, I don't even know how to open this. How do you open this? Oh my gosh, this is so cool, you guys. Okay, so I have to let me show you how this is done. This is this right here is exactly what I'm saying. Like, I've never seen this for a, a luxury bag, but every detail that goes into the bag is strategically put together in a way that really represents the um, architectural design of how Virgil was when it came to uh, the art that he put into his, his work. So look, basically all you do is turn this, isn't that amazing? And then the bag flips up just like that. 
And then of course, like once you look inside, it has like the paper and all that stuff, which we will easily take out. Um, so the inside of the bag, it just looks like that. You know, it's pretty normal, it's pretty standard. And then you have the strap, the crossbody strap that actually goes with it. So, oh my gosh, I, I love that. I didn't even know that that was a part of it. That's so awesome. And then to lock it, you basically just turn it back and you're good to go. So I love this because you can wear this as like a nice, you know, classic bag, you know, that's gonna help in terms of like styling your outfit up a little bit more, making it more chic. You can also just wear it just like this, but then you can also wear it like uh, with a crossbody and then have it with a really great um, street outfit. And I mean, it's just an easy, fun look. So this is, this is amazing. Okay, so I have saved the best for last because I am so excited. I have, I have wanted this bag. I know I keep saying this throughout this portion of the video that I've been saying this, like I've been wanting these items for so, so long, but you guys have no idea. Like, this year I have gone through so many changes um, in my career, in my finances, and like everything was halted. That's why you guys have not seen me in a while, right? But we are back. Things are, December so far has been amazing and I'm so excited for all of the amazing things that are coming. And I'm gonna be able to do with you guys on this channel, but I had to be on a hiatus for a while. But this bag, I will, I will definitely link the video um, somewhere up here so you guys can actually see it. But go watch this video because I actually mentioned at the beginning of 2021 that this particular bag was on my wish list for 2021 and I literally manifested this. And not only did I manifest it, I manifested it at a price that was like shocking. So the bag is by Bottega. So here's the thing. I have several Bottega Veneta shoes and they all obviously come in really nice boxes. Now I've heard, I've heard other um, fashion creators actually mention the fact that they would love to see Bottega actually have their bags in boxes as well. I don't know why when I opened up the box that I was expecting there to be an actual box for the bag but there wasn't. I don't, I don't know why I was, in, I was, for some reason I think in my mind I was expecting the green shiny like patent um, box that they actually have for the new Bottega and that's not what was in it. But it comes in this dust bag. So literally this is what you get when you order any bag from Bottega, right? So it has a drawstring and keeps your bag nice and protected, but okay, drum roll please. <gasps> Oh my gosh, are you dying? Like, are you dying? This bag is so unbelievable. And I'm gonna tell you why, because first of all, this is a Bottega paper uh, pouch bag. And I don't see anybody on YouTube talking about this bag. And I'm really happy about it because there's so many, there's so many fashion creators who are actually talking about all these other different pouch bags, the Jody bags and like, you know, the, all these other different colors. And I think that they're really great. And I think that all those bags are amazing, but I wanted something different. And when I saw the Bottega had actually created this bag, I was like, oh my gosh, that's the only Bottega pouch bag that I want. There actually is another one that I'm thinking of, but I was like, I want something that like, when you're walking around, people look at you and like, where did you get that bag? That is this bag. Like looking on it online, it looks like paper and in real life, it looks like paper. It even has, so it's this nice soft leather, but it's kind of, I don't even know how to describe it because like the, the leather material also feels like crinkly paper, but it's amazing. So just like the others, you basically open up the bag just like this. Um, it's a snap, you know, pretty much closed. It has like all of, I'm not gonna take the paper out of this because this is keeping the, the structure of the bag but um, it has like the stuffing in it. It also has, you know, like the nice uh, tan lining that's on the inside of the bag as well. But I mean, this bag is just everything. So it is still available on Bottega. I actually got this bag. This bag came in yesterday. I got this bag from the shop that I was just mentioning to you earlier called Joma Shop. They had this bag online originally retailed for, 
it was online for $1,300. And I've seen it in other places for $1,300. On Bottega, the bag retails for $1,900, okay? If you go to, well, Farfetch used to have it, it was $1,900. There was a lot of other places that had it. However, as you know by now, I am someone that will always look for a really good deal. And I truly believe you can find good pieces for really, really good deals. You just have to be open and patient to searching, right? I also have another video where I actually tell you guys how you can actually find designer goods for cheaper. So somewhere up here, go look, check out that video as well, because I'm telling you, I'm spilling some tea on how to actually get this stuff. This is literally how I get this stuff. But back to the story. So they had the bag for $1,300. So I put it in my cart and I'm like, okay, I'm going to get it. Like mental in my mind, I'm like, all right, this month I'm going to, I'm going to pay the $1,300 as soon as I finish closing a client. I'm getting that bag. That's my reward, right? So then randomly, something told me, go on Joma Shop again and check and see, check out the bag and just see if it's still there. Out of nowhere, I go on, on the site and apparently they were having a sale. I think it was like 30% off as well, right? Like I said, the holidays are literally the perfect time to start shopping for all of like the luxury goods that you really want because everything is literally being discounted like crazy, right? So the bag was already discounted from 1900 to 1300, but now it was discounted from 1300 to 800. I can't make this up. Like <laughs> So to me at that point it was like winning the lottery cuz I'm like you have to get this bag like today. Like you can't think about it. You can't you can't walk away from it get it like every it was like the universe was literally saying this bag is for you this is my gift to you <laughs> so i bought the bag and the shipping was very very fast it actually came within literally like a few days i would say probably about five days tops no more than five days um such a great experience honestly um, but I, I would definitely shop there again unfortunately i did look to see if the bag was still there for that price and it's not unfortunately so but i will definitely link it down below so you can actually shop it um on other sites and get a little bit of save a little bit of, of coins instead of paying the 1900 but y'all this bag is the bag of the season for me for now i i just oh i cannot wait to wear this bag like i'm so i already know like i probably will wear this bag today honestly i'm thinking of wearing this bag today when i go see diana for dinner because we're gonna meet up again all right, guys, so today is, it's supposed to be a very productive day for me. Like, I have, I have work I'm supposed to finish that I didn't finish yesterday because yesterday was just, like, non-productive at all. Um, I need to get in my workout. Let me make my list. Okay, so I need to get in my workout. I need to, um, oh, I almost forgot. So we did not get Diana's gift yet. Uh, by the time she sees it, she'll already have it, as I said before on Friday. But we have to go back down to Santana Row to get her gift card. I was trying to get down there so I could go and get the gift card. But by the time I got there, like I was already like five minutes late for the start of her dinner. So I was like, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and get myself together to actually get in a workout. And I will catch up with you guys when we are on our way to do a little shopping. Hello, I am back. So it is now, ouch, it's like 5.30. Um, hold on, let me just, hold on one second. Hold on, let me grab my stuff. Okay, let me get situated real quick. All right, now let me just adjust you guys a little bit. There we go, okay. Today, what am I wearing? Okay, so first of all, it is pouring down rain today and it is going to be raining all the way through next week. So I wanted to make sure that I'm actually nice and cozy. So I bought a couple of sweat outfits from Aritzia. And I honestly have to say, it pays to invest in more money in your sweat wear because nothing against Zara but the sweatwear that they actually have is nothing like it is with Aritzia. Like the quality of the fabric is amazing. 
So I actually have, let me just adjust my bra here for a second. Sorry there. So I'm wearing this um, TNA hat, which is really cute. And it's always hard for me to find a hat that actually fits my head. But this is actually such a cute hat. It's really cozy and comfortable. And then I actually have on this hoodie. Let me just turn you around so I can show you. Can you see me? Okay, yeah, so I'm wearing this um, pullover hoodie from Aritzia, and then also the matching pants. I don't know how you're gonna see the pants, but we're, we're gonna work with this. We shall work with this. Let me see. Will that work? Can you see the pants? Yeah, okay, so these are the pants. Very cute, very cozy with a jawstring in the, in the front. Um, so I'm wearing these today, and then I'm also going to um, pair this look uh, with my Fila sneakers that I actually showed you guys earlier that I had unboxed. I originally was going to wear a different shoe, but in all honesty, I can't, I can't find my shoes. <laughs> and by that, I mean, like, I have a lot of shoes in my house and it's to the point now that I just can't find anything. So it's really frustrating because I want to be able to see what it is that I have and the only way I can see certain things is just from memory but at the same time I can't seem to get to the ones that I do know that I have very easily so when I actually do move I have already made it a conscious decision that I am going to turn one of my rooms into a full-on closet so that way I can see all of my shoes in one spot so um, I'm just going to wear these and then I'm also going to go ahead and wear my Bottega because, you know, I want to take her out tonight. And then I'm going to pair this look with my Jacques Mousse earrings. So I am, it is almost 545. I already texted Diana and told her that I would be leaving. And since I am notoriously late, I am trying to make sure that for once in my life, I'm actually on time whenever I meet up with her. So I'm going to go ahead and head out. And the next time you guys will see me, we'll be at the restaurant. adulting moment but i just got here at the rest well in the parking lot i'm like right down the street from the restaurant but listen i am literally here like five minutes early that is unheard of because i am always notoriously late i am so excited oh my gosh yay me i'm so happy <laughs>
guys. So I am back from dinner. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up because my battery is going low right now. But um, it was a really great meal, fun time actually hanging out with her, catching up. Um, so now I am back home. I'm gonna get ready to call it a night. But thank you so much for tuning in for another weekend vlog. More to come for the rest of the year and going into 2022. If you've made it to the end of this video, make sure you hit. All right, so once again, make sure you hit the like button right down there below. Hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed to the channel and you do enjoy watching content like this, fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel content right here. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so you are also a part of the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell and share this channel with your friends, guys, so we can grow this community. I am making it a point that for 2022, I really want to hit over a thousand subscribers. So I am hoping that we can do this together. So thank you again for tuning in for a weekly vlog and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.